So today our topic is Python tuples. So tuple is what basically tuple is used to store multiple items in a single variable. So tuple is basically said tuples items are ordered unchangeable and allow duplicate values. It's a part of list but list and tuple are totally different so I'm I'm going to teach it from W3 School how you can get this. You just go to your favorite browser and type W3 School. This is not necessary for who are already learning Python. Okay, so you can go to the tutorials, learn Python, then here's the tutorial list and I'm going to teach tuples today. I'd like I'll try to cover all the things Python tuples, access, update, unpack, loop, join methods and there are some exercise we will do later so our first and also I will run all of this code in PyCharm so let's open up a file tuples let's, okay so here I have a one thing a one variable that my tuple equal apple banana cherry so in the list we, uh, we use square bracket so it defines as a list and in tuple we have to use parentheses instead of square brackets okay so what it say tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable okay tuple is a collection which is altered and unchangeable okay so so first example is create a tuple so how we can create a tuple let's open up okay it's better to use from here first time so th there is a tuple, there is a variable, and we took three values that are string, apple, banana, and cherry, then print this tuple, and it will print this. This is a tuple, okay. Also, you can see, we can see the type of it, like print type, like what type of it, type this. It will says, yeah, this class is basically a tuple. If it was a list, then it will say it's a list, okay. Let's wait for a while. Class tuple. And if I use a square bracket, no, no, no. Yeah, square bracket, it will say it's a list. Just see. So this is the major distinguish between tuple and list. Just replace it to parenthesis it's a tuple okay so tuple items tuple items are unordered unchangeable and allow duplicate values tuple items are index first item has zero index zero okay so here if we if you want to count it as a zero it's a zero value index number is zero this is one this is two okay every uh, items in python start with zero then counting okay so order we when we say that tuples are ordered it means that the item have a defined order and that order will not change okay then unchangeable it says tuples are <laughs> tuples are unchangeable meaning that we cannot change add or remove items after the tuple has been created now we can do it to converting it to list. We'll see it in the update tuples in this fact. Okay. So allow duplicates. It says since tuples are indexed, they can have items with the same value. Okay. So another example. I'm sorry about this. Uh, so example tuples allow duplicate values. So we have duplicate values means like we have two apple we can we have two cherry okay so run from here so we can see apple banana cherry and pale against cherry again so this is very simple this tuple length length is how many items we have included in our tuple in our list in our dictionaries that is included basically here okay so you're using tuple so we can see the number of items using the length function so to determine how many items a tuple has use the length function okay 
So print I uh, I print the number of items in this tuple in the tuple. Okay. So we have a variable name this tuple. We have three items. Let's print the items. So we can use it from here. Just go to print. So we will see total one, two, three, four, five items. Okay. Then okay, this tuple. copy it I will try it on PyCharm because this browser take longer time to print out a single value so we say it says five let's open it up in inner okay one more this is not the file well okay Python tuples okay Python file Let's run it first. So let's change to okay. So let's print it. So as you can see five items. And we can add some uh, thing like uh, here is here is the number of items. Okay. So you can see an error, it will not run, executed, okay? Perhaps you forget comma, so we can use comma over there, or if string, I will show you later. So here are the number of items, here is the, okay, it should be here, are the number of items, here the number of items are, okay, here are the number of items uh, 5 we can replace it to another way like giving the quotation here and a curly braces type it again then when we are inputting this tuple in here you will see a f string here so length object this tuple it's recommends or it's so easy to so you can see no difference just like that no need to use spaces okay we're done let's move on to the website so create tuple with one item so this one of the interesting thing i'm gonna teach you <laughs> To create a tuple with only one item, you have to add a comma after the item. Otherwise, Python will not recognize it as a tuple. Because in the list, we can use a square bracket and one item, but in the tuple, we have to use the parenthesis. And also, if we are taking only one item, we have to use the comma towards the item. Otherwise, it will not recognize that it's a tuple. It will show an error. So. In this example, we have got uh, this a variable named this tuple, uh, pel .comma, and Then we type. It. We can see the type of it, like type. So what kind of what class is of it? So let's copy this. Okay, run this again first time here. So it says it's a tuple because we are using a comma. When we are not using a comma, it can't. So Python can't recognize it as a tuple. So it says simply that it's a string value since uh, it is a string if it's a number if we give uh, only a number so it will say integer All right it still takes a longer time let's move on here so let's comment this and so you'll see it says tuple it says string so you're going to change it to a number so when we are using number as integer so we don't need to use any kind of quotation if we use quotation again it will python will recognize it as a string so now it's a number sorry it's an integer and if we use quotation it will say it python will recognize it as a string so if we use comma python will recognize it as a tuple tuple so we are not using comma or quotation only the number 
which is an integer, then we will use the comma. Let's see what happened. Because we can, we can use number integer number in tuple. So I don't know whether it will show tuple. Yeah, fine. So if we use only one item and then comma, it will think it as a tuple. But we, if we if we take multiple number like nine seven, okay, Se uh, seven. Now it will. It is a string. Okay. It's a tuple. That is just because of this parenthesis. Because we don't need to use parenthesis when we are taking an integer. Now it's an. It it still says tuple. Okay, it could have happened. Let's use it. No need to make it complicated. It's not the part of our topic in from the. Okay. Uh, what we had, uh, Pell. Okay. No need to make it so complicated, so no need to be advanced. <laughs> Let's move on to there. So we have completed this one item. When, when we are using one item in the tuple, we have to use the comma. Otherwise, Python will, try, will not recognize, e recognize it as a tuple. Let's move on to the tuple items, data types. So yeah, here is the, this is called uh, string, this is called integer, since it's region number, if we are using 9 point, okay, we can type here 9.5, it will be float, and this is a boolean, okay, boolean function, true, false, false, okay, let's see what it shows. So printing, we are just printing the tuple one. So this item, print tuple two, this item, and tuple three, true, false, false. This item. Okay, let's move on to there. A tuple can contain different data types. Okay, for example, a tuple with string, integer, and value, boolean, boolean value. So we can print multiple items like integer value integer value string boolean again string then integer we can use float like float is when we are using a point like 4.0498 okay it will definitely find no you know it will show but it's take a longer time because of execution since it's a programming did not the network issues oh my gosh okay i have to be hurry so a type from python's perspective tuples are defined as objects with the type data type tuple so this is the class we can see that using type as i've shown before so my tuple a variable and we can see the tuple we can see the type of it mean the class is tuple already shown it so class tuple and we are using like uh, can I use parenthesis no it's not work like that. copy this command this so you can use all multiple com uh, command using control uh, hyphen or backslash in your PyCharm in your Windows so it will shows the hash not like uh, backslash like this on your visual studio code okay this is not the visual studio code this is the PyCharm so you can run it and you can see top of if we use if I use uh, what is called Square, bra square braces or square bracket or whatever you can say so it says list okay so undo okay done it says tuple let's move on to the next item the tuples constructor it is also possible to use tuple constructor to make a tuple mm. using the tuple method to make a tuple what it says it's going up and up okay 
this is a variable and we can directly take a tuple tuple is a function okay in a tuple is a syntax syntax okay so we talk a syntax like I'm going to show you on Python that you will better understand let's comment it here so we are taking this item okay item it's a variable right now you're taking tuple as you can see tuple see the color it's different we're taking and then we are going to take another thing mm, oh okay need to take a look at it so you're taking so this is tuple now we are taking the number uh, items so here's another thing and apple banana I'm so tired literally mango okay we have to print it now print item no there's a tuple if you want to if we want to see the type of it print type parenthesis item done for the next okay python collection arrays so in c programming we use array and in python we have list and tuple it's a dictionary basically list are usable most of the time so next so move on to the next part that is that is access tuple okay so access tuple items you can access tuple items by referring to the index number inside square bracket okay so what is that you can access tuple items by referring to the index number inside the square bracket so if we want to print only one item from the top we can make it but we can do it by using a square bracket so square is a part of list you will see more in a updated update tuple so okay, let's try this out okay what it says so it's take a longer time we are going to move on to the pie chart comment it now what you will see basically so it's uh, index number one remember that sorry index number zero index number one index number two so it is uh, shows that this is uh, basically index number so if we want to print the banana from this variable or tuple we will how we'll print thus print the item then a square bracket then the number index number then we're going to print we'll get the banana if you want to get the cherry then go to two number two is cherry like zero one two the cherry if we use three it will show and trace back error trace back error okay because there is no items in index 3 but you can get it using uh, including another item name strawberry okay strawberry how many times 18 minutes okay okay so negative indexing is one of the coolest thing negative indexing means start from the ending okay so from the for the negative ending we don't need to use minus or zero just start from minus one refers okay minus one means like zero from the positive z index number zero one two from the negative this is the minus one this is the minus two this is the minus three if had more that okay so let's copy this negative index so when we are inputting minus one it will print the cherry yeah 
So if we want to print the apple, we can go for number 3 minus 3. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, negative number. So yeah, apple. This comment is not more, no more about it. So this is called that. Okay. So range of indexes, you can specify a range of indexes by specifying where to start and where to end the range. When specifying a range, the written value will be a new tuple with the specified item. Okay, here's an example. Let's make you understandable. Return the third, fourth, and five, fifth item. So we are we have a bunch of item in this tuple. Apple, banana, cherry. Okay. What's the pronunciation of it? Maybe kiwi, <laughs> melon, mango. Okay. So print this tuple and we are going to so it says to return the third, fourth and fifth item. So from the index number zero, one, two. So this is the two cherry and this is the third, fourth and fifth. So and the ending in the tuple when we are using index number the first one is start from zero and this one is start from one so since we are going to get the QE zero sorry one two three four five right this is the fifth item right and this is the third item so two to five okay so this is the two three four basically it says but from the last item here one two three four five let's see it its own print melon as i said so okay there are some something okay it says remember that the first item is position zero and note that the item in position five is not included yeah that's the thing i'm trying to make you understand okay so here if we are going to print the orange so orange index number is basically three three and we are going to print till melon so melon index number is one two three four five six let's give six it will print melon instead of mango orange and orange q and melon okay it's take it still take time this is annoying let's move on to the next part okay it says note the source will start have the index 2 included and end and end wow at index 5 not included remember that the first item has index 0 that's one more example so there is no numbers no positioning number so it will print from apple to orange because in the next indexing number we don't there is no position from start from zero so one two three four orange let's try it out on pycharm okay so position number is zero there is no it, it will start from apple to orange so apple to orange for items if we use zero it will show the same if we use one it will show from banana to orange okay we don't need to use zero instead of make it blank okay so this is done and one more uh, this one of the annoying advertisement okay example this example returns the item from cherry and to the end what it says it says to print or return the value so it's there is a print we'll see it's a print like in the html we said print print not the, not the print in html in c programming okay so this python we don't need to see we don't need to say mention it as a print okay so returns okay 
So in this tuple, in this variable, in this tuple, we have banana. It says to return the item from cherry to mango. So what is the first position in the index of cherry? 0, 1, 2. So use 2 and make it blank to return the end of this tuple. Let's copy this. So we can save our time. Comment. So now we will see from cherry to mango. Let's run it. From cherry to mango. If we want to print from banana to mango. So banana's position number is 1. Okay. So what if if we make both are blank? Maybe it will print all the thing. <laughs> so we don't need to use this one. We can simply make it. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, it works. <laughs> okay. So position number is one. Make a comment. How many times? Twenty six minutes. So we've done. Oh my gosh! Damn! How many things? Okay, two things more. Range of negative indexes. Specify negative indexes if you want to start the search from the end of the tuple. So the first example it says the example returns the item from index minus four to index minus one. So index minus four, the first position is index minus four. So one, two, three, four. So from the orange to uh, minus one. Okay, here. So here to here means it will print it will return the value orange kiwi melon and mango let's copy this let's see what happened yeah orange kiwi melon what is mango uh, it's a little bit comp complicated right uh, what it says, negative indexing means starting from the end of the tuple. Okay, so end of the tuple, the first item is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we print, we return the value orange, then the example returns the item from index minus 4 included. 2 include minus 1 is excluded. Why? Okay, we'll see from here. Remember that the last item has the index minus 1, yeah. This the index minus one and this cell is excluded. It's not included. Why? Range of negative indexes maybe. What if you want to print only the item? Will it be printed? I told print the mango. Now it's it's included. When we are using both our negative item, then the last one will be excluded in the printing statement. Okay, these are the things you have to remember that. Program is not complicated, just when you are boring, like for studying for a lot of time, go for the recreation and make yourself energetic. Go and keep yourself keep yourself hydrated. Like now I want I really want to go for having drinking some water i don't know how to pause it i didn't check uh, video pause start and stop pauses alter p if if i use alter p i can take some time okay no oh i, s I used control p let's alter okay so let's continue again so we have completed the range of negative i indexes now the next is check if rm existed exists this interesting so copy this i'll let you know there so no more in this axis so you're going to complete access part here it says in this tuple, we have apple, banana, and cherry. 
So if apple in this variable in this tuple print yes apple is in the fruits table. Fruits tuple, okay. So it says apple is okay. So if I use strawberry, it will shows nothing and finish the code. Okay, so we can use uh, else. print sorry uh, strawberry is not strawberry is not included in CLU included in this ah. shows sorry because strawberry is not here if we have a strawberry and make sure the spelling like capital upper and lower case should be similar as we type here same as here strawberry right says yeah so we can take another item like new item equal str double and don't forget to use the comma since it's a tuple so I'm going to cut out from here and it will say sorry strawberry is not good here let's make it Okay, we don't need to use this one. Instead, we can just new item. So, if new item, so in this new item we have a strawberry. New item in this tuple. So, if a strawberry or new item or strawberry in here, then it will print yes apple. So there is no apple, so we can use a curly braces. Then type new item. So. It will say yes if have yes new item new item means strawberry is in the in the fruits tuple and sorry uh, new items is not included in the tuple so now it will what it will say it will say strawberry is not like new item is not here okay sorry strawberry is not included here need to use that because it shows in the tuple now it will print properly strawberry is not included here if we have a strawberry also over there or str yes a strawberry in this tuple but we don't have and before printing we are making a thing this tuple equal new item so in tuple we have new item like strawberry is included here and it will say yeah yeah strawberry is in the fruit tuple are done let's comment this also so we've done access let's move on to the update tuples how many times you take already 33 minutes so in a it says tuples are unchangeable meaning that you cannot change add or remove items once the tuple is created okay we know that and it also says but there are some workarounds that is the change tuple values update is very important you have to understand it properly so once a tuple is created you cannot change its value tuples are unchangeable oh my gosh we know that or immutable we know that as it also as it also is called okay but there is a workaround you can convert the tuple into a list that change the list because we can't change the list Cha list is changeable we can add items remove items append then insert remove copy clear all the thing you will get from the 
PyCharm because in this um, this is not the uh, compiler this is uh, called console because of the black screen so console in this console we don't have anything like this they still not shows us anything okay I will let you know the letter so you can convert the tuple into a list change the item and convert the list back into a tuple so example convert the tuple into a list to be able to change it so first of all we have x y so <laughs> in this x we have okay let's talk about here in x we have apple banana and cherry but we want to add kiwi in this tuple y means in here after the zero after the banana in here in here we want to print the kiwi so we took another variable and which is list so list in list we can add anything so so we kept the tuple in the list like all now all the things are in this list then y1 means index 1 that is 0 1 after one maybe up after apple i'm not sure we took a uh, value items that is kiwi then we have to convert it to again in the tuple so x equal tuple y now everything is on y right so y tuple and x print so it's a tuple let's copy, uh, copy this let's print it over there so let's try it so apple kiwi cherry oh okay so here we can actually change you can change the banana to kiwi like index number one so zero one so we remove the banana and add the kiwi in this list in the uh, cherry okay so do we need to elaborate more i don't think so okay let's show you again fruit Critical. It's, it's a tuple, right? So, apple. Banana. Mango. So, new item. New item call. What are you gonna do? Take a list. So it's a list and we are going to keep the tuple fruit into the list now if we can see print type new item so we can see the class that it's a list and here just make sure to don't think it don't think it's a complicated thing i'm going to show you this is the easiest way to understand here everything fruit so now this is a tuple it will show this is a tuple and when we are converting the tuple into a list by using list command it will say the type or the class name is list so firstly you can see the tuple because all of these are tuple and now all of these converted to the list okay so i'm not going to remove it then we have what we have to do we have to remove the banana instead of banana we have to print a new item so in this new item so we are going to we are not going to make as like as or pre as like as this one okay so we are going to remove the mango so mangoes index number is zero one two right so in the two we are going to add uh what is my favorite food fruit mm, i don't know I don't know. Okay, strawberry maybe. Definitely strawberry. Okay. So we kept the strawberry in this in this index. Now you're going to convert it to so now it's a list still. It's a list we have to convert it to. So fruit equal tuple. Tuple now new item new item we'll 
data class, then we'll print it. Print type fruit. Ah, paper fruit. Okay. Now we'll see tuple list tuple. Tuple list tuple list print. No need to add anything. Simply print it. Okay. We'll see now apple, banana, and then strawberry. Apple, banana, strawberry, right? Done. Okay, add new items, append. So append is a part of list, not the part of tuple. That's why you have to convert into a list. So what it says, items since tuple are immutable, <laughs> unchangeable thing. Okay, they do not have a build in append method but there are other ways to add items to a tuple so first thing we have to convert into a list just like the workaround for changing a tuple you can convert it into a list add your item or items and convert it back into a tuple so what it says we have to add orange so append is basically do like we have banana apple cherry so and afterwards the new item will be add after the last one but if we use insert then we can show an index number like in that index number we'll add new items i will show you insert is not included here inside insert uh, this is fucking annoying okay so insert is basically part of list but there this is not included here but i will show you okay so let's do it first. Mm, append, right? Okay, append. So do it on here. In the line. What they've done? Okay. Okay. So we have an item that we are going to add a new item. So we have to take new item equal list fruit now we convert the uh, tuple into a list now we can do add new item when we are dot we can see so this is a part of the list now it's the list we can add append something went wrong we convert it into a list, right? Fruit. Not append. Something went wrong, let's see. What's wrong? Oh! That's my fault. Because now, fruit is still a fruit. The, n the name of fruit is basically a list. Sorry, a tuple. We kept it in the new item. So new item is a list, right? New item dot. Now we will see the append. Let's see. Can you just see append insert remove count sort? Can sorting basically numbers? We can extend index reverse copy clear lots of thing. So you're going to add append new item. So we don't need to add anything inside here. Let's see. Yeah, inside here. So new item is we want to arrange we want to arrange orange here arrange and orange O R A N G E orange now orange is added in this list because it's a list new item is a list let's remove it let's convert it to tuple as usual before it's shown print let me show the tab fruit and print fruit so we will see apple banana mango and orange okay class is tuple apple banana mango orange so this is the use of index so this is the use of append now if now like your question no i want to 
like this is your a uh, sort of your favorite fruit so you says my first choice is apple then my second choice is orange then banana then mango so how you can keep the banana in here let, let me show you let's comment this line single line so what else is there? simple nothing we didn't add anything so we just convert it convert the tuple into a list now we can add new item dot insert we are inserting right inserts itself index number so in which index after the apple so apple is zero we want to add on one right in one uh, I think I forgot insert No, no, no. It shows an error. I just forgot. Basically, you have to do the comma. Now you are going to take a. Uh, oh, I'm just <laughs> being muted. Let's orange. Sometimes it ha it does. It happens. No need to worry about it. So, in index number one. This is the index number zero. This was the index number one. Now, in index number one, we want to arrange orange. <laughs> We want to add orange or we want to arrange orange so in this number one we had we you take orange so apple orange then banana then mango we can keep any number in index number one we can use a number like 10 so this is the index number this is the value okay this is the value this is the index number how many times have taken 47 minutes this is really so uh, longer time okay you have done append okay add a tuple to a tuple add a tuple to a tuple like two tuple together like adding so you are allowed to add tuple to tuple so if you want to add one item or many item to uh, create a new tuple with the items and add to it to a existing tuple we don't need to convert anything just this is an this is a variable or this is a tuple we have two tuple and we want to add this to plus equal y that means tuple equal tuple plus y just let me show you from here so apple banana cherry orange added let's take it as a x y and tuple plus equal y means as i show you okay let me show you in easiest way that means x equal or we don't need to x we can say z z equal x plus y then here z so z, so z value is x plus y, right? Mm, taking time. Okay. So simply we can say like we can use the x, x plus y. It will show the same. Uh, 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 oh, oh, yeah. here. I think there's a lot of noise from the outside. I'm so sorry about that. I'll try to make sure a new microphone for recording. But for this purpose, I need lots of views on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I won't do this. I don't need to watch money from this end because I am so underrated in this YouTube platform yet. Okay. So done. 
so there's a note when creating a tuple with only one item remember to include okay <laughs> one more thing <laughs> did you do that oh we, we didn't add anything so you have to use the comma they said when creating a tuple with only one item remember to include a comma after the item otherwise it will not be identified as a tuple thank you very much oh my goodness oh my goodness okay two more things remove items you can remove items in the tuple tuples are unchangeable we know that i'm not gonna read it let's jump on to the example it says so we have to convert to the list so the list have removed as i've shown you so we will see an error like after removing the apple oh one oh th there is only one individual item we can clear we can delete so delete will show you an error okay let me show you the later so need to copy this give command new item dot remove right remove it says to a value so which one would like to remove we have uh, we didn't add anything okay we now we just only have apple banana and mango because we comment this orange and orange also from here using insert and append so we want to remove i don't like banana it's kind of <laughs> okay it's a full fruit but Gods like it much. Okay, don't spoil banana. Okay, now it shows only apple and mango instead of banana. Apple and mango, right? Done. So I've done the removing items, but for make sure you have to convert the tuple into a list. Make a list and uh, uh, the variable in the list. Then, so list is in y. Y should be different. Uh, sorry, this variable should be different and this variable should be different. Don't make it complicated then. Y dot That's why you need to use an co a code editor because it will suggest you the thing. So dot when you are using dot in the list it will show remove, count, copy or blah blah blah. Which is the part of list. I'll try to cover the list in the next time, the next video. Okay. So Apple, this top okay done. We have done. So you can delete the tuple completely. The del command can delete the tuple completely. So see, here is an error. This code will not be executed. It says file demo in line. Okay, trace back error because after deleting this tuple, there is what will print? Nothing. There is nothing. After this this command, the program is totally executed. So if we so now you're we want to print this tuple again but there's nothing over there like this one okay copy this or we can okay i need to it should be like that so we already can see an error and warning okay what it says it says name this tuple this tuple can be the on can be undefined because we used a uh, del and when we are using a uh, command everything is fine you're removing an error let's run it it will show the same trace back in line 50 line 50 in module in it's not the module remember also i'm trying to cover up the pronunciation and accent and so okay so this is basically we should say module we say module and not the education it's education module and lots of words we say like we, we, we don't say resolution we say resolution so we also should say education module because d o d u is due module okay module so name your the tuple is not is not uh, defined there's no tuple because of that let's comment it uh, done oh okay how many times have taken
in near about one hour. So we have done uh, update. There's nothing much in the next items. And Python unpacking tuples, unpacking a tuple. So when we create a tuple, we normally assign values to it. This is called packing a tuple. Packing a tuple. So packing a tuple. What does it mean? Let's try it out. So basically, simply a tuple, a variable, and item as a tuple. We are printing it. And but in Python, we are also allowed to extract the value into a variables. This is called unpacking. Oh yeah. So in the unpacking, like unpacking, so here is a tuple and we have taken red, green, sorry, green, yellow, red, equal fruit. So it will print, like when we are printing green, so green will print uh, green, then fruit. So green, apple, it will match with the index. Then print yellow, yellow will print yellow, banana, red, red, cherry. So basically, apple is green. Banana is yellow, cherry is red, yeah. Let's copy this. Let's run it. What's wrong? Um oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This one I was trying maybe. Okay. Okay, sometimes I'm also confused <laughs> because of Okay, so fruits apple. So so basically three items and we are maintaining as a what it says unpacking. We're also allowed to extract the value into a variables. Okay, oh this kind of variables now. So in fruit, apple, banana, and red, and green, yellow, red. So print, we are not using any color name. So it's just yellow to green. So in green, we have apple, right? Uh, fruit is faster than apple. In red, we have banana. In yellow, we, so in yellow, we have banana. In red, we had cherry. But if we use one more print, blue. Is there any food name blue? It will show an error because no item for blue. Okay, blue rose is not food. Let's try it. Items. Items. Now it still work. Blue rose. Oh, what's wrong? Oh. Okay. So I've done unpacking. The number of variables must match. Yeah. That we did a mistake. We took n number four print, but only three variables. So variables must match the number of values in the tuple. If not, you must use an asterisk to collect the remaining values as a list. Wow. So use asterisk. Oh, it says char. <laughs> There's an asterisk. Okay. If the number of variables is less than the number of values, you can add an aster to, sorry, <laughs> asterisk to the value variable name the values will be assigned to the variable as list in this example we have assigned the rest of the rest of the values as a list called red okay so we have fruit apple banana cherry strawberry ribs raspberry okay raspberry so we have green yellow red fruit so it will print when we are using so it starts mean it will print the all item as a uh, list. What it says? Variable values will be as and variable as a list. Okay, so it will shows as a list. So uh, in in the now in the index number three here, red like three and three. So green will print apple, yellow will print banana, red will print cherry, strawberry, raspberry as a list. 
because of that star. Okay, we, no, we don't need to use it on there. Not to make more time. So if we use red in yellow, what will happen? Can we guess? Let's see. To print all the item. <laughs> Not all the item, basically three items because the last time should be for the raspberry and if we use here it will print uh, it will keep the last two items for yellow and red so yellow it will show that yellow raspberry that's not possible red raspberry that possible color matches and it will show green apple green banana green cherry is not possible even but it will show so for the green we'll see banana apple banana cherry and for the red yellow we have we have strawberry and for the red we have raspberry done if the asterisk is added to another variable name then the last python will assign value to the variable until the number of values left matches the number of variables left that way i i was trying to let you know that when we are using star in there it will not print all the item because number will not match for this two one so this two one will take the last two one for matching the number of item to be printed so green is this for the one and two okay so okay it is the last item from unpack also we have join loop there is nothing more I think it can be covered up within 130 minutes so last one is example add a list of values of the time I have classes at morning oh my gosh add a list of values the tropic variable okay tropic variable so that, that's the thing I have already shown you not, no need to explain more so for matching the number uh, for apple for green have apple for red have cherry and for tropic the another item like if we take it for a couple of times it will be printed for a couple of times but just for red it will print cherry got my point so we have done unpack let's move on to the loop okay loop will execute it as a sequence here loop through a tuple you can loop through the tuple items by using a for loop iterate through the item and print the values so in this tuple for so x we are uh, keeping the this tuple in x and print x so we'll see the apple in a sequence like app uh, like how to show i don't have anything like okay like this apple banana and cherry okay so this is used as a loop learn for follow for our python for a loop okay it will come in later i will also try to cover up if i will get enough time to talk I'm so tired. I, I don't know whether I'll talk in the morning. My mouth is already exhausted. Even me and my head, I'm just feeling headache. So look through the index number. You can also look through the tuple items by referring to their index number. Use the range and length function to create suitable iterable. What will happen? this is okay there's not much complicated print all items we're referring to the index number so in this tuple we have apple banana cherry for i we are keeping the length like three items in a range for i then tuple i so it will print the same as before length item three items in range right if we print only length tuple it will print the three items so three items in range keeping in i so in i we have three items in tuple 
this tuple i the tuple three items one two three okay now do more explanation damn this okay using envelope normal advertisement I need to give a feedback okay using a while loop you can loop through the list items by using a while loop use length function length I say okay length basically it's a length alien zth okay use the length function to determine the length can you see of the tuple then start at zero and loop your way through the tuple items by referring to their indexes remember to increase the item sorry increase the index by one after each iteration okay what it, it, it will do print all items using a while loop to go through all the i index number so here are okay 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 how it will execute when this condition will be full fill up so how it will be full fill up in this tuple we have three items okay so i equals zero and when so when or while i is less than length so i is already link less than length because i value is zero and our length in this length in this tuple we have length three so zero is obviously less than three so that's why this program will be executed and it will print the tuple in the tuple we have three items i equal zero and it says i plus one so since we have three items so it will print uh, consequently okay the word is consequently maybe yeah so it will print apple banana cherry back to back almost uh, everything is all the same okay done learn while loop while loop in here after the tuple say dictionary fields then while for function errors oh I told there is no errors but it shows errors okay uh, join tuples join two tuples mm, this adding it will print a b c then one two three let's see what it says to join two or more tuples you can use the plus operator so plus minus multiply or asterisk divided divider is called operator which can operate between two items two uh, values okay so done so in tuple one we have this tuple two so this is called a summation we can type anything here we take tuple three equal tuple one plus tuple two and then print tuple three we're done multiply tuples if you want to multiply the content of a tuple a given number of times you can so you can so we can say asterisk in here as a times we don't need to say is asterisk when we're multiplying it's called times okay you can use time operator time times or time I forgot oh my gosh lots of thing mm. need to show the task manager oh. well, to see the CPU okay so you're printing now we will print twice apple banana cherry then apple banana cherry again because we are we are multiplying the fruit so fruit will print twice apple banana cherry apple banana cherry done so our join tuples is done let's couple methods then we'll go for that uh, exercise then we'll slip well, okay the methods we have Okay, Python has two built-in methods that you can use on tuples. One is count, one is index. Oh, okay. So in tuple we have two things, which is a part of like root 
dot. Oh, you can use count. The count print fruit. So we'll see the number. Ah. This goes slower because 110 minutes recording in SD mode uh, with 30 FPS. Okay, in index. So this is added here, and let's move on to the exercise. This interesting part. So what we have learned. So test yourself with exercise. Now you have learned a lot of tuples and how to use them in Python. Are you ready for the test? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's let me know in the comment section if you see the entire video of 110 minutes. Try to insert the missing part to make the code work. Except okay. Let's submit. Print the okay. So it's print the first item in the fruit table. So print the first item in the fruit table. We have so we have to print it. Plus fruit. First item, right? Fruit. Fruits. Zero. This is not working. I am literally stuck. What we have learned? What's wrong? trying to give on what's wrong I'm pressing but not working it's working now for UIT as fruits zero oh, it's not taking the last one nice work nice work okay I don't know what's wrong and because PC is already so much hot the temperature is high okay use the correct syntax to print the number of items in the fruit so we have to use the lane then uh, lane fruit f-r-u-i-t-s fruits parenthesis closed done next exercise so use negative indexing to print the last item. Print fruits minus one. Done. Next exercise. Use the range of index to print the, the third and fourth item in the list. So we have to print the third and fifth item. So this is the third both fifth so index number is two because it start from zero right and this this position is start from one so one two three four five fifth five now today let's close all the tabs so we have covered entire tuples. What I've learned today, we have learned in top of what is Python, so Python, access Python, 
sorry, Python tuples, tu access tuples, update tuples, unpack tuples, loop, join, and some exercise. So this is for today. Let's close this. And yeah. So this motivation is for you. I'm giving okay one more motiv a what to say motivation for you to read seek knowledge like a thinking star Bennett the utmost bounds of human thoughts. Be connected with me in social media. Use Java account JB at every social media you can find me. Have a good day. Bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe my channel because of this work. I took a lot of time to try to cover up the tile. I will try to cover up entire Python from W3 school. So yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.